Hi folks, welcome. It is Saturday, the 13th of July, and it is hot. But it's lovely out there. It's not too humid. What am I doing? I'm actually in the middle of making a small order of miniature tankards, which are going to be espresso cups for an order. So that's what I'm in the middle of doing. So join you for that. Just finishing off this one. Ah, yes. They're kind of a fiddle because they're, they're a little bit of a small... Get my head out of the way. These are our six ounces, six ounces of clay. Yep, they're a little bit of a fiddle. But it's good to make stuff, small stuff, you know, every once in a while as it is to make exercise yourself, you know, make larger forms. It's also good to make smaller things. Leather, sponge, and cut off. Just bring the camera down so you can see a bit closer. Dee, 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 dee. So yes, it's a tankard form. Um, I think the order is for 10. Let's drop down the camera a little bit. Dee, 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 and bring it in more from to this angle. Something like that, I think. For now, we'll 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 leave it at that. I think. Something like that. So I'll just cut him off. So. So with these, because they're kind of small, it's difficult to lift off like this. So these ones I do like what I call six points of contact to be able to lift him off easily. Put him down there. That's it. Oof. Yeah, it's warm today. I don't know what the temperature is. In here it is uh, only 76, it's not too bad I suppose. Too bad. So with a smaller form like this, you really want to get a bit of speed up for centering. Um, Got to be a bit careful of the gauge because the gauge is don't know what that is, but I don't want it in my pot. <laughs> Might be a pine needle. I don't know. So just breaking in as usual everything is just done a little bit smaller uh, in a little bit more of a confined way you know
bringing it up, looking for the gauge. I love the gauge. The gauge tells me where I'm going. It tells me my destination. There. Down to the bottom. Get that clay. Pull it up. Almost there, almost there. Just doing the little collar at the top here. Checking in my mirror for my sideways profile. Don't forget, get yourself a mirror set up. He, he tells me, the mirror tells me he needs to be a little bit broader in the base, he's a little bit narrow in the foot. It's all about information, you see, isn't it? Passing information. The mirror is passing information. Like the gauge is passing information, it's telling you. Telling you that you're too low to get, get higher. Pull up more clay, come on. You see? That's about it. Right, throwing stick. That's the number one tool you really need and that is a decent throwing stick. Too many throwing sticks are too wide, haven't got the right angle on the end. We really need pottery tools designed by potters for potters, don't we? Sadly, many pottery tools are obviously not designed by potters. Leather, there we are. That's it. Next, sponge stick, cut off wire. Straight through, clean hands off. Clean your hands into your water pot. <laughs> and have a towel just down here. Okay. There he is. Put him down there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's always a good idea when you're making, if you're making for an order, always make at least one extra or two because you just don't know you don't know how they're going to turn out do you how they're going to come out of the kiln one might be cracked or something like that and then you've then you're in a right pickle because you're one short you know truth is I don't Honestly, I don't. I don't do orders really. I. I don't even know why I did, took this order on, but I did. <laughs> Too late to back out now, chum. Yeah, I know. No, it's okay. It's not a problem because it, I thought, well, okay. I'll be honest with you. I've never made espresso coffee mugs in my life, so. I was, I've drunk plenty of cups of espresso coffee in Greece and in Spain and places, but I never, I've never actually made an espresso cup. So I asked the guy, I said, what kind of design or shape did you have in mind? And, and he said, well, how about a miniature tankard? So I said, okay, we'll give it a whirl, see what we can do. And I did a miniature tankard, in fact I did this one. And I sent him the picture. And um, he seemed to like it a lot, so I thought, I said, okay, well, 
that's what we're going to do. Actually, these cof the, this order has got to go to the Netherlands, Holland, where they probably drink more espresso coffee over there than they do over here in the States. Anyway, that's for sure. My my coffee drinking expertise is not very is not very expert. I, as you know, I grew up in England, and my parents generally didn't drink real coffee. They drank they drank instant coffee, you know, powdered coffee out of a jar, instant. That's what that's what I was brought up drinking, instant coffee. And and then I went to and then I went to live and then I went to live in Spain in 1990. And I thought, wow, this is so good, this coffee. What is this coffee that I'm drinking? Where have I been? Yeah, I suppose in England, they, it's not to say they don't drink coffee. I mean, they drink filter coffee, you know, or instant coffee. Well, these days things have changed, you know. Back then, the whole world has, has opened up much more now. We're much more uh, used to drinking and eating food from different cultures, which we were not, you know, back in the 70s, I suppose, or 60s. Yeah, I had a sheltered upbringing. <laughs> my home, my, my family were not we're not garlic eaters. We didn't eat olives or anything like that. I never. I didn't eat my first olive till I was about nineteen or something. Never knew what a real olive tasted like. As for garlic, well, I went and lived on a Greek island for a while, and I used to do a bit of helping out down at the local, for a fisherman down at the harbour, a one-legged fisherman. And he wanted to build a little taverna down there, on the, right on the beach. So, me and this German guy, we, we helped him. We helped him um, fetch and carry. We built, we built his little taverna out of sand. The cement was made out of sand and seawater. Can't imagine that is actually a good combination. But anyway, anyway, we ate a lot of garlic. We didn't get paid and he would do it, but he would cook a lovely meal for us, a fresh fish. So yeah, so I didn't have a, a very broad culinary upbringing, you could say, experience, you know. It's fairly typical English cooking of that, you know, by my parents who were an older generation. You know, meat, potatoes, and two veg, the kind of thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, yeah, so coffee. Real coffee, but yeah, when I went to Spain, I really enjoyed the espresso coffee. Yeah, and now, of course, I like. Yeah, can't say I drink the espresso coffee right now, but I like good. I like a cup of good coffee now. So long as it's organic. Yeah, I didn't realize that coffee was one of the most heavily sprayed crops on the planet. And 
and basically coffee is full of, I guess it must be full of pesticides, insecticides, herbicides or whatever. And um, so I always drink organic coffee. Good source of antioxidants as well, coffee. Believe it or not. Pulling them up to the gauge. Up you come. Yeah, I don't usually do throwing on Saturday, but I got a bit behind and I got in this order I I needed to get done, you know. So sometimes you do what you have to do, don't you? You do what you have to do. So I thought that's it. No more pro procrastination. Get out there. It's not going to take me very long, I thought, you know, I'll just do it. With the help of my gauge. So my next video, at least I think it'll be my next video, I can't say for certain, but I've sorted out about 36 tea bowls in my little showroom display area, basically because I'm running out of room, and these are tea bowls that I've had for a while, and so I'm thinking... Let's clear the decks, let's have a sale. So, what I propose is to have a tea bowl sale just to clear these tea bowls. So, we'll be out there on the garden picnic table and I'll number them all. And I'm going to knock the prices down. I usually sell my tea bowls for like $48, but I'm going to. I'm going to rip these down to like 28 or 30. So we're going to knock 20 bucks off the price. So if there's any there that you you want, you like, like the look of, look at the video, grab the number off the pot. and write to me. And write to me, yes. Whoa! There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got to do... I've got three more lumps, so I'm not going to bore you with making this a, a very long clip anymore. Suffice to say, there they are. The little espresso coffee mugs. So, if you're interested in a leech treadle wheel like this, best wheel out there, I think, quite honestly. Not that I'm not that I'm biased or anything. <laughs> But, but I tell I tell no lie, they are. Um, yeah, if that if that grabs you one of those wheels, write to me and say, yeah, I'm I'm interested. So SimonLeachPottery.com is the website. 
if you need pottery tools. There's not a lot of pots up there at the minute. It's because I'm doing this different kind of selling, you know, where I'm sort of a little bit more interactive. Because I feel people, you know, watched me make pots and now they can see them through the process and see them fired and on the table and there they are for sale. I think that's a little bit more interactive than just going to a cold kind of web page and just looking at pots. Tell me what you think. Anyway, thanks for joining us folks. I hope you have a good weekend. Enjoy the good weather if you are in a good weather area. And I'll see you in the next video. Meanwhile, keep practicing, as always. Bye for now. Dee, 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 dee.